Hey, my name is Evan. I'm a local activist from Stanford. Uh, I'm here because uh, Israel uses events like uh, baseball teams and uh, other cultural events to whitewash their uh, apartheid state to make themselves seem like they're just uh, another country among countries uh, while Palestinians are being kicked out of their homes, violently oppressed and um, the United States is funding all of it uh, with more and more money uh, all the time. Uh, so I think it's really important for the community, especially um, you know, um, people that were uh, ra raised Jewish, maybe even raised Zionist, to stand against that and help to educate and bring awareness to the uh, ongoing apartheid, dispossession, and oppression uh, of Palestinians by the Israeli state and how the U.S. funds it. Thank you. I'm John Fussell with Tree of Life Educational Fund. I uh, think it's very, very important for American people to stand up against uh, the, the ongoing failed policy of, of, of the United States in funding Israel. All that our funds have done and our, and our country's support for Israel have done is to empower a colonial, colonial settler regime that has <coughs> resulted in ongoing occupation and apartheid. Uh, the Israeli human rights organization Bethlehem has documented the apartheid regime as has uh, Human Rights Watch um, in a full 200-page uh, report. Um, at a certain point we have to say uh, to, to Israel, if, if you're going to take our money, you need to, to support our values or to at least respect our values. And my values don't include occupation of another people, they don't include apartheid, they don't include the demolition of Palestinian homes, which has been ongoing. It doesn't include the arrest and detention of Palestinian children, which has been ongoing, uh, where the Israelis arrest the children, oftentimes in the middle of the night, putting head covers over them, taking them to uh, uh, military detention centers, and processing them without any due process through military uh, uh, law, as opposed to as if a Israeli Jewish settler was arrested for the same thing, they would have the, the attributes of, of Israeli civil law. It's two different law systems, two different uh, uh, regi uh, regimes of, of, of power uh, there, um, and it's got to stop. And it's not going to stop unless the United States puts pressure on Israel and the international community puts pressure on Israel. This is not to say that Israel, you know, doesn't have a right to exist. Of course they do. That's not the point. The point is that they shouldn't be occupying and oppressing and ethnically cleansing another people from the land. And that's what's going on. And that's why I'm here today. Thank you. It's very interesting that we're here at uh, Dunkin' Donuts Park and they have Black Lives Matter, you know, being correct near a black neighborhood they tore up some places to make it and and here they host an apartheid brand lies all lies they host a country a so-called country that's an apartheid system where palestinians are treated awful and killed every day and abducted every day and i'm thinking i'm old enough to to know about South Africa, we used to have a sports boycott of South Africa because they wouldn't have integrated teams. They pretended everything was equal. We have a white team and a separate black team in the Bantustans. That's the situation there. All equal. It's good educated. You too. Yep. Why don't you listen to us and, and you'll get educated. People walking on the sidewalk. Thank you. Well, you know, you look at this team, if I recall, it's not just Israelis. They gave Americans some citizenships. They have them to toss out the Jewish Americans, gave them some Israeli citizenship, and now they're on this team that's going to go to the Olympics. Where Palestinians don't get that privilege, they don't get the rights of the Ubermenschen, the high people. The people with all the rights, the white people, the white nationalists, Israeli Jews, whatever you want to call it. There was uh, 
The Palestinians don't play baseball much that I know, but they do play football, what the world calls football, soccer to Americans, and Israelis have been rough. Something like 46 Palestinians have either lost their lives or been injured so badly. I'm talking about 46 Palestinians who are on soccer teams who will certainly never play in any kind of Olympic or FIFA event. So sports do matter. And it's not just the people coming in to see a, to see a game. We, we did get a bunch of Zionists, I believe, I assume they're Israeli Jews, they had Israeli flags on some uh, shirts and so on. Uh, but there's a lot of enlightened people too. Uh, a statement by a hundred Yale Jewish students who call is Israel an apartheid state and they're very critical about what they did to Palestine. The statement by, by 150 Jews who say that the Israeli flag that some of them took in here is equivalent to the Confederate flag. In other words, abject racism. So that's why we have to come to these kind of events Oppose the hypocrisy of Dunkin' Donuts Park and of some of the people coming in today. My name is Mike and I'm a volunteer with Abolition UMA, which is a Muslim women-led um, organization that is working to support incarcerated Muslims in Connecticut. Um, and I wanted to just bounce off of something that Stan just said a moment ago, where he talked about the Black Lives Matter billboard that is up outside of a Dunkin' Donuts Stadium across the street. So just a moment ago, we were uh, very aggressively approached by, I believe it was the owner of the Yard Goats team, to uh, basically tell us to leave and to, to move across the street because it was private property on which the uh, apparently we were standing right outside the stadium. I didn't know that was private property. I'm not sure if that's even accurate. But um, two, two men came up to us and aggressively uh, kicked us out basically um, and they were standing underneath this happened underneath the Black Lives Matter billboard across the street which is outside of the stadium on the topic of, of policing you know there's we have police officers here I believe they're Hartford police um, you know a couple of police SUVs um, guarding things you know supporting the Zionists walking by who are yelling things at us um, but we know that the the Israeli Defense Force is actually trained police departments all across this country and I believe Hartford was one of the police departments actually that um, took part in this training and so they travel to Israel and they come back here and and they use what they learned on the communities that they are policing here in Connecticut and all across this country um, you know we've seen um, Israeli occupation forces uh, Putting, putting a knee to the necks of Palestinians, the same way that George Floyd was murdered in Minneapolis by Derek Chauvin. So we know that these connections are real and that they're serious and that they're important. And we're not out here for nothing. We're not out here, you know, um, for no reason. We're out here because we're witnessing massive human rights violations. We're, we're witnessing murders and uh, uh, massive you know, injuries being affl afflicted on the Palestinian people and ultimately what amounts to an apartheid state. Um, and I just wanted to say also that, you know, um, uh, I, I converted to Islam uh, in December 2019. And as a Muslim, I know that I have to stand up against all forms of injustice and oppression. Um, not just Muslims who are being oppressed, whether it's Palestinians, Uyghurs, Rohingya, um, Kashmiris, um, Syrians, but everyone. Uh, as Muslims, I know we, we are called to, to stand up for all of humanity and to fight for all of humanity and to fight against injustice everywhere. And I know that the Jewish religion teaches the exact same thing. The exact same thing. Um, and so what we're seeing is um, a lot of folks coming up and, and uh, still choosing to support apartheid um, and choosing to, to support um, what Israel is doing which is not in, in, in the name of what Judaism is actually about and what, I, what Judaism actually teaches. And so we know that to be true.